Hi, I'm Joe Cadell. I'm Carl Sredikoff. And I'm Eric Stroud. We're here to talk about looping hill, ovine and septaliptus. The name looping hill is derived from an old Scottish word describing the effect of the disease in sheep, whereby they loop or spring into the air. The cause of this disease is a tick transmitted virus. Now we're going to talk about disease transmission. Looping hill is a vector-borne viral disease that is transmitted by ticks, most commonly the castor bean tick. The tick acquires a virus by feeding on an infected host, which it then transmits to another animal when it changes the feeding host. The most definitive hosts are sheep and grouse, and humans being accidental hosts. It is not hereditary, meaning it is not passed from mother to its young. Looping hill is a virus, and therefore it can also be transmitted to humans by contact and airborne cultures when working with the disease. The most common human cases appear in farmers and veterinarians because of their contact with the virus. Symptoms include depression, anorexia, I don't want to eat anymore, muscle tremors, salivation, posterior paralysis, Convulsions and death. Control treatment. There are vaccinations available to prevent the disease and protect humans and animals. However, these vaccinations are very expensive and would only be used in endemic areas. A more popular method is quarantining the affected animals to slow the spread. Now it's time for interesting facts. Yay! It is possible to acquire this virus by drinking unpasteurized milk from the affected animals. Looping Hill has been reported in Britain for over 200 years. Who knew?